And in today's video, I am going to be touring this home. It's the Appalachia Reserve 60. Can't really do a full on um, view of it because of how it's in here. Hoping that they have some decor pics of the front of the house uh, when I go online. But this is the Reserve 60. It's a three bedroom, two bath. Let's go in and take a look. Alright, that's the front door that we just came out of. Here you have your living room. You got a ceiling fan in here. You have space for probably up to a 70 inch TV and you've got these uh, you got your bookshelves on either side which I love. You know I'm a sucker for, uh, for bookshelves or cutouts or anything like that. I love how light and bright this, this house is. I love um, the rustic farmhouse finishes with the shiplap over on the entertainment center. The fact that it has a ceiling fan. Some people don't like a ceiling fan. I happen to like a ceiling fan. I keep telling my husband we need a ceiling fan in our bedroom and in our living room. And I'm going to make it happen. I see that they have the rail up there. So there are barn doors that cover up this area. You could probably close out the TV or close out the uh, bookshelves or however you like. Um, uh, keep in mind, you can always order a house and add or, or take away features that are available to add or take away. So that's something to think about. Also, I see their vents in the floor. Um, maybe order the house with vents in the ceiling if that's an option for this house. This is really lovely. So that's the living room, you guys. Nice size living room, love it. Love the size of this living room. Now from the living room, you turn around and you can see the kitchen and the dining room. Now, the first, my first thought is how huge this area is over here for the dining room. Can lights in the ceiling versus a ceiling fan, which I don't mind at all. Look how much space you have in this dining room, you guys. Like that is a huge area. So you can put a huge table, maybe a buffet over there. You don't have to use this for a dining room. It's really up to you what you use the space for. I, I hear some great suggestions in the comments, um, but this is it typically would, would be the dining room and it's a large area to do what you like. Then over here, you have your kitchen. Look at this large, huge, huge, huge um, island here. You got butcher block in, in that island. You could probably put three or four bar stools here depending on how they're made really lovely you've got storage around the refrigerator open shelving over the sink and next to the stove and i love that hutch you've got pendant lights up here these are the covers for the pendant lights so this will look like this keep in mind you can always ch change those out according to what you like so always keep that in mind when you see don't let the pendant lights be the deal breaker because all of that can be changed. You've got storage on this side of the dishwasher, cabinets and drawers, as well as cabinets and pot drawers in your island open shelving right here. Really lovely. I love the darker, the butcher block uh, type uh, island and then the lighter countertops over here that's really nice and then there is your shelving over here really lovely nice really nice so i'm gonna spin around again this is the kitchen dining room and your living room now, down this hall are your guest bedrooms or additional bedrooms. This first door is the guest bath. You have the sink here. I love the big rectangular sink uh, with two cam the two cabinets on the bottom. You have your 
tub and shower combo. And then around this corner, next to the window that opens is the toilet area. So you have a little a bit of privacy if two kids are in here. One could be using the restroom and one is in this area in the sink. And you can even put one in that uh, tub at the same time. <laughs> Three girls getting dressed. You got three different things going on in this bathroom at the same time. Love it, love it, love it. So that's the guest bedroom, guest bathroom. And then um, around this corner, it's a, well, let's, straight ahead is a closet. So let's take a look. You've got a linen closet in the hallway. Always a nice touch. So all of the sheets and towels and extra comforters and storage items would be right there and then around this corner which is a, it's open area you've got your mud room here mud room area here love the little cubby holes for different things as well as down there i always like to would um think about putting a cushion um on that space for them to sit this door right here is your ac unit um you've got space up top there for storage items as well as hooks to hang things from. Next to the, uh, the mud room area, you've got counter space here. Love it. You can put a stool under there and uh, for to sit and fold clothes. You can put storage stuff on there. My deep freezer would go under there, but you'd have to pull it out whenever you wanted to open it. You've got a deep sink in here, open shelving as well as cabinet space next to the um, back door. So really lovely. And then your washer and dryer will go over here. Really nice. These, let me tell you, in this these next set of videos or the videos that you guys have been seeing lately, because I, I usually do them in order of how I filmed them, these laundry rooms, man have been something special. So that's your utility room. And again, this area is open. There's not a door there, it's open. Now, on that's on that side of the hall. On this side of the hallway, you have two bedrooms. So this is your first guest bedroom. Nice size guest bedroom. You got a large window in here. And then, I, and when, I, when I say large, I'm basing it off the size of a regular window, you guys. Don't often see, um, this is a walk-in closet. Sometimes the windows, and I don't know if it picks up on camera, but they're way larger than the regular size of a window. So even if it, it not picking up on camera, I say it's a huge window because I can tell it's much larger than the regular size of a window. So you got this window. These would be custom blinds. Um, and... But I love it because it brings in lots of natural light. So that's guest bedroom number two. And then you have a probably just, you know, it may be the same size uh, guest bedroom over here. It looks like it could be slightly, like a couple inches larger. But you have a, another guest bedroom over here. And this one has a standard closet. So one has a walk-in, one has a standard closet. Okay. All right. So that's two guest bedrooms on this side of the hall. And then your linen closet is there. And then on this side of the hall is the guest bath and the laundry room. All right. This house also has smart home features, which is always nice. All right. So back into the living room, we're going to now go take a look at the master now i know you didn't see um a master or a door off of the living room and it's for and and i have a reason for that if you go around this corner uh in the dining room the master is over here which is lovely because it doesn't just open up into the living room like a lot of them do so here's your master sorry it's got they're still setting up uh, this home, but this is the master. All of this space, it has your ceiling fan in here, two large windows. Looks like it has two closets. Let's take a look. So you got, I know that's a closet. Let's see what this is. Cool. So you got his and her closets. So this is the first closet. 
can't really get in here to see. But this is the first closet. Really nice. So that's closet number one. And then closet number two is identical. Okay? Really nice. So me and Walter don't have to argue. We got the exact same size closet, exact same style. And then you got a separate bathroom here. So this is your two sinks. You got open shelving up top. Love it, love it, love it. Even though you got can lights in here, you also have lights over your sinks, which is always nice. Cabinets and drawers over here. In this little area, you've got your toilet with a window that opens. Huge shower here with the rain shower shower head. Love the tile in here. Um, there will be a glass in this to shield the water from coming out. And I love the standalone tub. Really nice. You've got shelving here above the tub. And you've got this deep standalone tub over here. Really lovely. This is the Reserve 60, you guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hits. That's the glass for like the shower and stuff. You know, it checks all the boxes for me. Three bedroom, two bath. 98.9 plus tax. Can't beat it. Hope you enjoyed this tour. This is the Mobile Home Diva. Enjoy bringing you these videos. It's been lovely coming out here to Yes Mobile Homes. They've really stepped their game up as far as the houses that they carry. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So I am hoping you're enjoying this tour. If you are, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, you guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I got lots of great videos coming soon. See you later. I don't have to party to have fun, you see I got different hobbies and that's all I need Some say life is boring, but I disagree I wake up and live my dream Someday soon, I'm gonna make it, yeah Some say I'm